hello and welcome to the channel if you're new here welcome and if you're not welcome back today I wanted to share um, a quick hack um, I have these lamps that I bought in Costco and by the way this video is not sponsored in any way so they charge through the solar panel during the day and at night they light up and let me show you real quick see if the, there you go they light up so what I noticed was that one of these lamps was not lighting up at night and let's just take a quick walk over here real quick and what I did was I took the uh, top part off the top part is this this um, solar panel and what I did was I put it up to the light and I used my multimeter let's see if I can uh, this somehow let me make sure I got it in the shot so you could see what I mean so what I did was I use the multimeter let's see if we can get the volts here and then I tested this to see if I'm getting at least one point one volt or what was I wanted to see what the voltage was and as you can see right now I'm getting 1.3 before I was getting 0 0.67 and the hack was I took some sandpaper, I started with some 500, and I started sanding this with water. Then I moved on to 1200, and then I moved on to 1000. Now, I'm getting the proper voltage to charge the rechargeable battery that's in there. And um, you just wanna be careful, and I'm gonna resolder these connections so I can get these up and going and this one is working fine this is but I'm probably gonna touch it up a little bit as well as you can see what happens is the coating that's on it gets degraded it gets faded and cracked um, and I'm guessing that you can only do this so much as you can see this one that I've been working on I only applied the 500 grit and see how smooth it is so yeah, so the hack is if you are having issues with any solar device that's outdoors, not charging, check it, examine it closely, and if it's pitted, cracked, and faded, just give it a, a, a light sanding with 500. This might be even too rough. And then go to 1000, and then 1200 and once it's smooth you're good to go and then I'm just gonna go back and solder this back into place because I was checking the connections also for continuity and then you seal this up I mean would it be a good idea to um, maybe clear coat it or, or you know that is a good idea it might give it an extra layer of protection um, but there you have it and I hope this video helps someone out there was having issues with their solar devices, external at least, not charging. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share them below and like and subscribe.